Yes. Hello, Mayank. I am Kriti Mehta, team member of FindMyTest.com. We are glad that you joined us today. I would like to congratulate you for achieving top rank in GATE examination 2021. We are glad that you secured All India Rank 32 in GATE Computer Science and Information Technology paper. Would you mind introducing yourself to our viewers? Thank you. So my name is Mayank Akkar. I attempted the GATE uh, 2021 in Computer Science stream. And uh, as, as she just said that I secured All India Rank 32. So basically I am from Mumbai and okay. uh, I have completed, I, I haven't completed yet, but I'm in my fourth year in uh, KJ Somaya College of Engineering. Okay. And uh, I, uh, yes, I'm in, in my fourth year, that's it. <laughs> okay. So what was your rank? Okay. Rank we already know. What was your gate score and marks? So my gate score was 907. And uh, the normalized marks displayed was 71.99. So, which means uh, my actual marks were around 74 or 74.5. Because because it was the, is my paper was set one and it was easier than the set two. So, uh, our marks were scaled down to normalize. Okay. So, how many times have you attempted the gate examination? This was my first attempt. As oh. I'm in my fourth year, only this year. So from this year, uh, they have allowed the third year students, but la still last year, only the fourth year students was allowed. So this was my first attempt. Nice. So when did you decide that you want to attempt GATE exam as your serious career option? Like when did you start preparing for GATE 2021? So till last year when uh, the lockdown began in March. So I had in my mind that I don't want to study for that. I just want to do a, a good job and uh, I'll be there for uh, for my for entire life and but uh, in around may i started to think that uh, i saw in news that uh, the jobs are people are losing jobs and the salaries are going down so i thought that uh, i should uh, go for masters right now because after two years the situation will be much better and i i the, the economy will be back on track so obviously i'll get much better the job than right now so in may last year i decided that uh, uh, I had two options back then to go for MS or MTech. Uh, I didn't, I, di I didn't want to go for MBA because I didn't want to leave the computer science stream. So I, I so only two options were there, MS and MTech. So for MS, uh, I was a little confused. Like I didn't want to go outside India. I wanted to uh, do uh, everything here only. So so then I decided that I should go for MTech. And uh, I did a, a lot of research on Google that which are the, what, what are the best colleges, etc. So I decided that I have I'll take gate now. And uh, from the, that time, my aim was to get into top hundred. And uh, in uh, mid May, I started my preparation. My actual preparation actually there was uh, in May in May time I, I was actually a bit slow as my internships were going on. So in June, I took a test series. So from that time. The, my preparation, uh, I accelerated my preparation and it was confirmed that I'm going to do MTech for sure next year. Okay, so there are many other career options like government jobs, CAD. So why didn't you choose those options? Like why GATE? Yes, so uh, CAT uh, I had eliminated in my second year itself. So in my first year, I, I used to think that uh, money is everything. So I, I want to do CAT because I, I see that MBA people earn in lakhs, lakhs of rupees per year. So I, I want to do CAT. But then later I realized that uh, money is not everything. I had to uh, follow what I like. So then I decided that I want to follow computer science, which I like a lot. And I have to go in the computer science field. I don't want to go in the marketing and uh, finance field. So I, I decided that uh, I'll leave CAT. I'll go for GATE. And uh, government jobs, as you said, uh, it, that also, uh, I had some confusion in my back of mind in around November, December that uh, my preparation is going well. So should I consider PSU if I get a good rank? But uh, then uh, I eliminated even that because uh, in uh, in the uh, back of my mind, I wanted that wanted to study in premier institutes of India. The IIT Bombay is the best in, in IIT Bombay is one of the best institutes in India, and to uh, go there in the uh, and study in the campus is like another field. So I wanted to get that. So I finally uh, decided that I don't want any PSUs. 
Okay. So what was the difficulty level of GATE 2021 CS paper? Uh, if you see the uh, questions, then the difficulty was, uh, I guess it was uh, easy to moderate, but uh, the uh, ranks versus the score went down than last year due to uh, introduction of the MSQs, multiple select questions. So that were a, a bit challenging for the people as uh, uh, what, uh, actually what's that, that if three op uh, there are four options there can be one option correct there can be two options correct three or all the four can be correct and uh, even if you uh, miss an option or mark an extra option you will get zero marks so that was a disadvantage for this year which this these questions were, weren't there last year so the paper was uh, almost same similar to last year but the marks went down due to the msqs okay so did you take any coaching or online video course like how did it help I didn't take any coaching. I just uh, followed uh, one or two YouTube channels and uh, I followed uh, some standard books for computer networks, computer organization and other subjects didn't need any standard books, only the videos and uh, geeks for geeks was a great platform for you. Uh, and uh, I took two test series. Uh, one, uh, one I took in June and uh, Due to the test series, I uh, there were topic wise tests, there were subject tests. So along with that, I went on with my syllabus. He, this part I'll complete and I'll give the test for the same. So that or that uh, subject wise and topic wise test are completed around September end. And after that, uh, I didn't. I have I had only the full length test remaining. So in around November, I had uh, extra time with me. So I took another test series. And again, I went with the topic wise test, subject wise test. So I had, I went, I got an extra round of revision for all the subjects. Okay. So which books or study material did you follow for great preparation? And uh, could you please suggest few books? Yes, for computer networks, I followed four Ozan. There are other books like Tenenbaum as well, but. Uh, I, I followed four Ozan as uh, I had followed it since my uh, college days. Uh, in the third year when computer networks was taught in this college and uh, for computer organizations I followed William Stallings for operating system I didn't completely read the book but uh, uh, some parts like the theory parts process threads etc I took a little help from there uh, the book was Galvin and for other subjects I uh, didn't, uh, didn't, didn't, didn't follow any book I just uh, watched uh, free YouTube videos available I took help from Geeks for Geeks, for Geeks. Practice questions I got from Gate Overflow. Previous year questions I got from there. So and solutions were also available. So I didn't need to read any books for other subjects. Other subjects are considered easy and they are not uh, much theory based. So for theory based subjects, we need uh, some textbooks or something to uh, get the concepts, understand the concepts. And other subjects, it's fine. You just solve the questions. You learn new concepts from there. Okay. So what are some important topics that should be specially focused by Git aspirants? Yes, so uh, I've seen many of my friends and uh, future. I've got many messages from future Git, Git aspirants from LinkedIn. I've seen that people find difficulty in computer organization and computer networks. So computer networks is actually a very easy subject. Only uh, people find it difficult because uh, the calculations uh, are, are actually... Uh, uh, so there are uh, uh, some questions that uh, you get confused what type of uh, uh, formula should be used here, etc. So computer networks are a bit confusing. So that's why people get uh, are afraid of it. And computer organization uh, is actually a very vast subject. You, you cannot actually predict uh, questions can come uh, from where questions can come. So these two subjects people find difficult, but uh, well, my my aim was that uh, see uh, from from many YouTube videos I saw that uh, people say that computer organization is a difficult subject so you can uh, uh, little, you can leave a little bit from there so my aim was that uh, see people are finding computer organization difficult so I should accelerate more on that because if I get a, a few extra marks in computer organization my rank will go uh, rank will go much better than what I will get by leaving. A part of computer organization so these the only these two are difficult subjects i guess all other subjects uh, are, uh, are can be easily completed are easy and uh, a little uh, challenging subjects i can say are uh, uh, theory of computation it is a very easy subject but uh, people uh, very because it is a very easy subject people tend to do very silly mistakes there 
so i have also done a very very silly mistakes in mock test but i didn't repeat that in gates uh, uh, luckily so that's it that was the subject yes so. so what was your preparation as well as your revision strategy for gate examination uh the the preparation strategy was basically first i had to complete the entire syllabus then no no part has to be left if i leave any part then later if if the same question comes out two marks i leave two if two i will uh, lose two important marks in the gate exam which uh, later on if i uh, if i find some questions which i am not able to solve then that two marks will be very heavy so my first aim was not to leave any concepts complete all the concepts uh, let it take like some extra time but complete all the concepts and then revision time uh, i had prepared the long notes while uh, studying the subject for the first time so that uh, long notes i had i kept on revising and another revision strategy was that while attempting the test series or uh, getting some previous year gate questions attempting that uh, there are some some new key concepts you get to learn so it's it is never possible that you will learn every each and every concept from the videos or from uh, geeks for geeks or anything some some other other concept will be remaining so that all you will learn from previous year questions from uh, uh, test series and etc so you have to write them down uh, prepare another book for that short notes book i prepared another book and i wrote all that all the key concepts all the all the silly mistakes that i made i wrote that down so that and that uh, short notebook every uh, every 2 to 3 days i woke up in the morning and the first thing was that i'll read the short notes so i don't repeat the same mistakes again and the long notes uh, i kept on revising uh, like weekly or once in 10 days okay so mayank as we all know like a competitive examination during a competitive examination it is very important to manage your time so what was your time management strategy for attempting all the questions in examination yes so uh, i had i had tried all all the options that were available for uh, time management because i give a lot of mock tests so first of all first what i did was uh, in the big uh, first in the first two to three mock tests i attempted the questions in the order they were given and uh, that worked quite well so that there was no no problem but uh, later on i uh, i changed my strategy i went to uh, i'll first attempt the one mark questions so that proved a bit disadvantage for me because uh, i in, in the starting uh, people are more uh, like uh, attentive and focused it is a 3 hour test it is not possible to uh, stay dedicated all the 3 hours so you will you will uh, deviate a bit in the beginning in the middle so i solved the first one one mark question and then i went to two mark question so that was uh, that that was very uh, i got very less marks in that test so i changed the strategy after that and i uh, went to a new strategy i solved the two mark questions then so that was the best strategy that i found out and the because the, in the starting uh, the mind is very much focused and later on it will it will go down so uh, initially uh, if you try to gain as much marks as possible later on if you even if you make some silly mistakes then it's fine because if they are one mark questions if if you get all the two marks question or majority of the two marks question correct then it won't uh, it won't ma- matter that much that you uh, uh, lose a bit uh, some of the marks in the one mark question so that was a strategy i applied but Uh, uh, up to 2020 paper one mark and two mark questions were separated in gate paper but this year uh, they they changed a bit and uh, in all the papers the questions were jumbled so one mark questions then two mark then one then anything can be the order so for that uh, i again went to the first strategy i if i go and searching the one mark questions i go and searching the two mark questions i will lose a lot of time in that it's only a 3 hour paper so that time i had no option i had to go in the order the questions were given okay so glad you found the strategy perfect strategy for you before the examination so what was your daily time table uh, as in like how many hours did you spend daily for the preparation of the examination initially uh, i was doing internship in may june so i could not give much time 4 to 5 hours is the max i could give so that time uh, due, i was as i was getting less time and after the internship i was very exhausted so i couldn't study so i started waking up at 4 am that time and uh, from 4 am till 9 am there was no one to disturb there were no whatsapp notifications nothing so i got complete 5 hours for for my preparation in the morning and uh, during the internship i followed that and after the internship uh, 
I got time. I, there was time and time because uh, obviously I didn't attend college lectures. It was online. You can skip them. So, how did the current COVID nineteen pandemic affected your studies and routine? It, it actually helped a lot. <laughs> if uh, college, if if colleges were open, then I had to go to the college. Uh, six hours college, two hours traveling time. I couldn't manage to study gate if the colleges were on. If as the colleges were shut and uh, the uh, and I didn't attend lectures, so I got a lot of time. Traveling time was saved, and uh, till now the colleges are shut. So <laughs> there's a lot of time for people to study. So even the gate 2022 aspirants is it's it's the, the right time now it is possible that uh, in july or august colleges might open so before that do as much as possible okay so if you compare last year and this year gate paper so what differences did you notice uh, both the papers i guess the difficulty level was almost the same but uh, last year's paper uh, marks were uh, people got more marks than this year's papers because the multiple select questions were introduced more than one option correct that that was a disadvantage uh, people don't tend to get easy marks in that and so this year the marks were a bit down but the difficulty was almost the same like last year i'll say a little bit high but almost the same okay so any suggestion you would like to give to gate 2022 cs aspirant Yes, uh, currently the college is shut, so make the most of your time right now and uh, take a test series for sure because if you don't take a test series, you'll, you'll not be uh, accustomed to the gate and gate exam environment. You'll be in an environment where you you will be just uh, in front of a computer. You'll not have any anyone to talk to in the homes. Also, try to set up an environment. Give a test series in that environment. It will help a lot. And uh, analyzing the test series is the most important because if I if I take a topic wise test of 15 to 17 questions, and uh, I got suppose only eight questions right and eight questions wrong, and uh, so I'll just leave it that I failed the test. And but uh, if I analyze the test properly, I I took a test of one hour and, anal and uh, my analysis took one and a half hour. So that will help a lot. So the next time when I give the test, the same, the, the sa I, will, I will never repeat the same mistakes again. So analyze, analyzing the test is very important. Test series and analyzing the test is the most important. Whatever you study while completing the syllabus is, is very good, but the test series are the one that test you. So, and analyzing that will improve your uh, uh, chances of getting good marks more than the, than uh, what what syllabus you cover okay so man congratulations once again for securing all india rank 32 in gate computer science and information technology examination and thank you for giving us your valuable time and find my test team wishes you all the best for your bright future thanks a lot